the whole witches thing. Like, I'm getting it, but I'm not getting it. Like... Hey guys, what is you on about? Welcome back to another part of The Sims 3 Generations LP. So currently we are watching Mr. Antonio just take care of his little garden. Oh, there's Ophelia just doing her thing. But we're just watching him take care of his little garden. It's around like around noontime on a Sunday and I think it's just so cute watching this little old man take care of his garden. I freaking love old people. But today I don't really know what I want to do because, you know, we're almost done with this LP. We only have like two more parts. Oh, we just got paid. Oh yes, come through money. And if I I do sound kind of crusty um i just uh woke up so yeah, excuse the crustification and i don't know what max is doing but i think today we are going to kill the maid i know it seems pretty extreme but as soon as i ended off last part she literally just came into the house and i don't even know why she's just watching her sister sleep which is kind of weird let's kind of see like what she's about you know girl like what's good you know i'm gonna try to kill her so let's just kind of see like if she's ready um we could uh, give her a gift so I guess we can give it to her and I'm hoping that she'll eat it so we'll have to wait and see come on I don't got time to play these games you know I'm just gonna see like how this death is gonna happen death by max death by poison apple you're not even talking to anyone and you're watching your sister sleep this is the creepiest thing ever what the frick is happening oh my god wait look at this little old 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 look at this little old gnome oh my heart this like hurts my heart so much like, he just looks like, boo, what you talking about? He's just, like, relaxing. I love his eyebrows. He's just really living his best life, okay? Do I have to reset her, too? Oh, finally got her, okay. So, I guess we're just gonna wait for the maid to come tomorrow, I guess, because I don't even know, like, what her problem was. She just didn't want to pull up on the block, but I really don't know what we should do today. I do think it'll be fun if we can go out to the fall festival because, you know, the fall festival just came to town, and look at how cute the leaves are. Oh, I'm gonna miss this family so much. Wow. I love how as soon as I said we're gonna go to the fall festival, it starts raining great great i love that for me um andrew you need to get up it's 2 p.m i don't even know why she's sleeping so long but i really want to go and probably go and teach our daughter how to drive i'll let max do it instead of accusing your father of being a diva go and teach your sister how to drive you know maybe she could wake up so let's go and wake her up and we're gonna go and teach her how to drive oh she's feeling a little rebellious today having a little mood swing honestly the perfect timing to go and teach her how to drive right <laughs> no so, can we go and teach her how to drive? Your household must have a car. Are you kidding me? We don't have a car? Wow, who, is, who has a car? I know we have a car. Do I really have to buy them a car? How do they not have a car? This is so confusing to me. I was like, wow, I really thought we had a car. I know we had a car. And all we can get is this little sloppy jalopy. Are you kidding? I was trying to see before a freaking trampoline. Okay, but we're going to go and teach her how to drive now. I'm assuming someone just stole the car, stole the whip. So we're going to go and teach Veronica how to drive. Wait, we can cast a charm on her? <gasps> Wait, good luck charm. Oh my God. And we don't really know our sister, which is kind of sad. And she's a vehicle enthusiast. So maybe she knows quite a bit about car. What the frick was that? No, Antonio, what are you doing? You're going to play a video game? Honestly? me as an old man go into my daughter's room and just go and play her video games oh my god the dance is at 6 p.m wait we even ask someone out to the dance okay you need to not do that right now mm -hmm. thank you we can't do that let's cast a good luck charm on her so she has a good time at the at the freaking dance and we're gonna go and call up our friend and ask her out to prom so we're gonna call up jane and uninvite her out invite her over i don't even know the prom is tonight it's literally in three hours oh my gosh what a sucky prom night it literally just rains on your parade during prom Ooh, I loved all the rainbows. So what is she feeling like? Uh, having a mood swing and feeling lucky from the spell. Today is Veronica's lucky day. Who knows what will happen? What good will happen? So let's kind of see where uh, Jane is. We probably should get ready for the Zant. So um, what are you doing? Okay, me. But I think we're going to go into her room and kind of see like what we could do. I think we might go and change our appearance. Kind of give her a little bit of some makeup. She's not really the type to really go all out with the whole fabulousness and whole get up but we're just gonna go and kind of see what we can do she is such a pretty sim like her eyes are so vibrant and i'm in i'm in love so oh that kind of looks perfect on her like it's not too much but it's not too little and it just it just kind of works it's perfect and we have some eyeliner maybe give her like a little bit more of intense look it's kind of a lot 
and I feel like she would try like Jane would be like maybe you should try wearing this and maybe you'll like it so let's kind of see what we can do I, there's not really much I can see for her blush considering that her hair is in her way but we're just gonna kind of give her maybe like a little orange tint or like a maybe pinkish tint to her skin a little more corally and then for her lips we're just gonna give her a nice matte I don't really know what color her dress is so I think we should just play it safe with the colors and just kind of give her maybe like a sort of nude that could kind of work right right okay okay kind of matches her blush just a little bit but I think I do want to maybe spice up her hair um we could do like this like this is this is pretty cute you know it kind of is like hey i tried i'm not really the type to do all this type of stuff but i tried you know so yeah that's gonna be her little makeup and hair do for prom and for her outfit i don't know if i really want to change it i'm pretty sure she has like a real nice dress so we're gonna kind of see what works best with her makeup and her hair so i don't really know why everybody is in her room right now which is kind of annoying like literally her father's playing games the dog is in here max is in here for no reason and she already has to leave for prom oh my god this is actually so cute it's kind of subtle I like it. It's cute. And it kind of goes with like her makeup look with sort of like the red tint in the lips and kind of like the red tint on her dress. You know, it kind of works perfectly. Okay, so you cannot go to prom yet. Where is Jane? We're not going to sit on these hoes, but we are going to sit on these hoes. Can we um flirt with her a little bit? You know, you know, it was going good with her. Get out. Go. We don't have time for this. We're going to be late to our own freaking prom. The dogs are in the way. I will control. I'll delete you, sis. You better get out my way. Get out my way. Let's do a pickup line. You know, what's up, Jane? We're just kind of trying to get to know you. <laughs> Please love us. You need to go to prom. You gotta go to prom. Deanna always like to know if Antonio wants to talk. We don't have time right now. We're busy. Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. Frick. Oh, forget about you, Jane. We're gonna just gonna go to the prom by our- Wow, the freaking limo left. What is that? The story of my life. But thankfully, we don't live too far, so we're just gonna go straight to prom. And yeah, who screw Max, screw um Jane. We don't got time to play these games. You're gonna go to prom and live your best life. So while she's at prom, we got some stuff to do. Jane, get out my house. I'm gonna let Ant Antonio go and tell her to be like- Get out my house, shoe rat, shoe freaking rat. Chat with Tatiana and Ophelia, can you go and fix this? I'm gonna call the repair technician because honestly, I'm over it. Veronica wants to pull a prank, I think we will. And we'll probably get into some trouble while we're at the prom. I hope she like beats up a bitch or something like that. Because we need some tea. We need some drama and that's what it, that's like what's gonna happen. Hair is literally insane but honestly me like used to it she has a freaking bird in her inventory you need to go oh she finished her homework wow queen of scholars queen of school i'm gonna let her go and i wish she can go and play with the imaginary friend she doesn't have one so i'm just gonna go and let her play with her dolls and then have her go and pet rocking rider because she's a loner so yeah we're gonna go do that wear a costume you know transform into an alter ego let's become a royal red prince and let's kind of see is veronica at the dance yet okay so it's only a matter of time oh veronica is prom queen yeah jane you wish you could be prom queen but you can't you freaking can't yes yes she got prom queen what is it saying um, my classmates like me. They really like me. Yeah, Jane can't relate. Mm -hmm. She's about to become our best friend and our arch nemesis at the same time. Veronica hates herself for asking her classmate to dance. Her crush not only said no, but it also made fun of her in front of everybody. Oh my gosh, what a rude. Who even was it? I mean, wasn't even worth it. You want to hang out with Jane? We're gonna keep our friends close, but keep our enemies closer. Oh my gosh, Veronica's friend was drenched and punched by a rude classmate. Veronica was so angry that the fight broke out. <gasps> Did she win though? Did she win? Time to head home. The dance is over. Curfew is around the corner. Don't forget to check your prom pictures. And she spotted a wardrobe malfunction. Oh, she just kind of got into a fight. Let's pretend that she won. Let's pretend that it was with Jane. And that Jane was trying to front. And, you know, she's not really our friend anymore. Oh my god, Max went to prom. I have a copy of it. I'm gonna have to delete him real quick. Because he's not supposed to be in this town. Like, I'm sorry. But you can't have doppelgangers around here. So, I'm gonna have to control it. Delete you. So, yes, this is Veronica. I, did you go in that? Oh my god, she really wore that to prom. Okay, you need to go home. You need to go home. But you got your prom queen little crown. Yes, yeah, she's not she's not like your typical prom queen. She's not like all girly and stuff. And I think it's nice to have a different prom queen. What is this? Okay, same. That whole thing is me. But I'm gonna let her get home before her curfew kicks in. And Max, um, you need to go and do something with your life. I want you to go. Can you call up uh, the maid to just come over like while she's not home, like while she's not working? Oh, all right, so she can come over. You know, it's not her time to shine. What is this? What are you wearing, sister? I love the cap or like the hat, the whole witch's thing, like I'm getting it. 
but I'm not getting it. Like, I'm not. Like, I'm confizzled. I don't get it. Okay, but I'm just gonna let them go and head to bed. The old people are already in their bed, whatever. Max, you can just go and relax, go and head to bed and stuff. Don't you work at the school? Like, oh, he was off. Like, what the hell is happening in here? Um, um, right, right, right. Okay, get out. Just, just go. Just go. I'm gonna let her go and shower, and then we're gonna go and do some shower dye booby traps. I'm gonna let her go and do some booby traps around the house to kind of show that she's rebellious. We're gonna do the spring sink. Um, we already did the hair, the hair dye. Can we do anything with the animals? No. Anything to the lamps? I don't know. Anything? No. Okay, I'm assuming we can't do anything to the animals. Let's go and do the whoopee cushion. Then we're gonna go and... I don't know what else can we do. Can we do some stuff in the bed? <gasps> no? Oh, dang it. Okay, anything on the computer? Let's do the scary computer. And let's go and set up booby trap scary computer. Is this what Colleen is wearing? So now I know who we got into the fight with our prom. Good to know, right? Right? I'm gonna let Max get up and go and talk to her. Let's go and call her over. Get up, boo-boo. Let's go and call her over. And we're gonna cast a good luck charm on our mother. Oh, He's so cute. I love him. We're gonna go and call Colleen over to the room. Let's pretend that the parents don't know that she's over for a little poison action, if you will. You know, Max is kind of evil right now. Colleen? Okay, I guess she, like, got weird, right? We're gonna go and call her over again. I guess, like, she got teleported somewhere because she was having some problem. Are you kidding me? It's only 2 a.m. Oh, okay, I guess we'll invite her over in the morning while she's- before her job starts. All right, guys, it is now the morning, and today's actually Piper's birthday, and she's gonna become an elder, which is so sad. I remember when she was a little country bumpkin, you know, living her best life, but yeah, she is actually going to be aging up into an elder today, which is so sad to think about. Why is Jane here? Okay, that's kind of weird, but yeah, so I think we're gonna go and probably get her a new gift, you know, probably get her like a new toy, probably like a new bone or something, you know, have a little fun with her, you know, kind of make her feel like she's loved and stuff, because we kind of neglect the pets, which is kind of sad, but you know, she's just living her best life, sniffing out her collectibles, and I don't know why Jane is here, but that's kind of annoying, so I'm just gonna let her go and do her thing, everyone's heading off to school, you need to go and work hard, you're not in school, I'm gonna let you go and make some new friends, and I think Max, you need to go and help around the house, because he's just kind of there so we're gonna go and chat with her a little bit and probably kill her off right now so we're gonna go ask her to hang out we're gonna go show her a funny internet cats video then just kind of get to know her a little bit try to make sure she knows what's good so colleen like what's up you're kind of here but you're not queer you know what i'm saying so, girl, is, is you ready to die? Is you ready to die? You're not getting a part-time job because you're lazy as a truck. Colleen, so let's see if she'll eat it. I really want her to eat it. I never had, like, a poisonous apple and don't know how they work. So this should be a process. You're not using the bathroom. Kill her off first. Then you can pee. Brag about broom riding. Okay, same. Same. Like, big mood. Okay, so I guess she decided to take off because she wants to die, which I'm, I'm cool with. You know, we can always get a new maid. We gotta kill her off anyway. So we're just gonna go and just show her some stuff. We're being flirty with her. So we're gonna go give her a heathen moment kiss to make sure she knows that we love her. Oh, Piper just reached level 6 of her skill and we just got a rainbow gem. <gasps> I'm so in death with some coin. Give me that coin. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that coin. Playfully chase Max. Oh, Find something special. Oh, they're so cute. Casually just walks in her bathing suit. I love that for her. She's that. She's that grandma. Veronica's class will be taking a field trip tomorrow to Area 52 Test Labs. Do you want to sign the permission slip? Yes, she can go to Area 52 Test Labs. Max is working an hour, but we gotta kill this girl. You know, we gotta kill you. She's charismatic. Good to know. Oh my gosh. Yes. Love us. L what a fucking whore. What a fake whore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to curse. Why is this happening to me? Oh, yes. Eat it. Eat it. Are you kidding me? She knows. Sis knows what's in there. She knows, girl. Let's, um, try to get to know her. I don't even care for, like, to work. We're a janitor anyway, and we're failing at our job. Ooh, Sahara learned how to paint. All right, you know, she's kind of making a money moves or whatever. Doing what she does best is just some celebrity gossip. You know, gotta make sure she knows that we're the real deal, quote-unquote. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Well, after school reward ceremony, I'm gonna let her go off to this and do this right now because last time I did this, I forgot. So you're gonna go and do that. Go to your awards ceremony. You can go by yourself. Kind of annoying. 
you know, I want to eat uncooked waffles on a dare. Oh my god, uncooked waffles? I could never. Okay, now let's ask her to sleep over since we're friends now. Hopefully she's down. You know, we got some more interactions or whatever. You would think they would have more interactions considering they spend every single day together and all their time together. But that's besides the point. She's here now and that's all that matters. If Max is going to fix his work performance, he will face disciplinary action. He's out of school and he's a janitor. I'm inviting me over. Perfect. Let's kill her. Kill the witch. Kill the witch. Where did she go? Did she have to use the bathroom or something? Yes, yeah, she did. Okay, come back. Come back, Colleen. You know, stay in the maid outfit. I'm really going all the way around the house just to talk to her. She's not really that important anyway. Oh, it's Piper's birthday. Oh my god, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Andrea, go and take care of this dog. Go and love this dog. Give it some affection for the gift. This is the option I'm waiting for. This is what I'm waiting for. Wait. Oh, Piper's old now. Wait, where'd her fur go? That was so weird. Aw, go and be smooched. Yes, let someone can feel loved. You know, give her some love. Okay, you need to go and get this bitch dead. She's still alive, and I don't know why she's still alive, and it's really annoying me. So I'm gonna have to kill her off right now. I will kill her. I will kill her. Give it to her. Give it to her. Yeah, for me. Eat it. Eat it. Okay. So, can we tell her to eat it? Is you finna eat it? Or like, what? Let's go and actually, we can't woohoo, try for a baby. We're gonna go and woohoo with her. Go and woohoo with her, you know? Hit it and quit it and then kill her. Oh my god, they're gonna go do it in the treehouse. Oh my god, I feel so bad for Sahara. That's her little hangout. Oh no. Okay, I, I kind of want you to still do it though. I never said I didn't want you to. Go and do it. Mm -hmm, thank you very much. You know, a little woohoo action with the maid in the freaking treehouse. Oh no, oh no. It was bound to happen. That's all we really wanted for her. We were wanted we wanted to use her. Can we tell her to eat it? Can we convince her to eat it? Recruit her with um let's go and insult her. Tell her her vagina was disgusting. Oh my god, look at her walking. Oh my gosh. Give her a mean high five. Irrelevant, what are you feeling like? Splinter, oh, ouch. Out oh, some frisky fun in the outdoors is just a thing to spice up the love life. But splinters are a real pain. Oh my God. Yes, declare her as our nemesis, then we're gonna fight her. Fight her, yell at her, declare her as our nemesis. I wanna rip her to shreds. Rip her to shreds. Fight her, fight her, slap her, yell at her. Oh yes, bitch. Rip her to shreds, girl. Oh yes, oh, what's happening? Oh girl, oh, oh shoot, oh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Destroy her. Wait, what? <gasps> the maid one. The maid one. Can we cast a charm? Why can't I be mean to her? I want to use my magic against her. You're going to stay. Cast a charm? No. Um, scan room? No. I just want to kill her. Okay, so I think for the next part, I'm going to get the murder mod that I used for my Island Paradise LP. So she'll be waiting for us. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to let her go and shower. I'm going to let Max go and shower, kind of get his hair dye removed. Are you feeling better? I thought you were being nice to the dog. Oh my gosh, go and take care of the dog. They're both so disgusting. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. Just be nice to her. Go and play some tug of war with her. Make her feel all love. Aw, look at how happy she is. Ophelia, move out the way. Yes. Oh my god, she's so cute. I love them. They're just so adorable. Max, what are you doing? You're eating some birthday cake. And no one fixed this. Are you kidding me? I asked someone to fix this and no one wants to listen to me. I'm annoyed. I'm real annoyed. But I think I'm just going to let them all go and head to bed. Veronica, what are you doing in his room? Okay, go and fill the food bowls before all these animals die. I guess the bird is just going to be stuck with um Sahara. You know, she just got the bird in her inventory. I'm surprised the bird is still here. But this is her art show participation trophy. And I have to put up Veronica's stuff. But this is it. It's so cute. It's like a little... I don't even know what this is. It's something. It's something for sure. Let's see what Veronica looked like at her prom. Um, we could put it like on her desk or like on her vanity. So I'm going to put her little prom queen little thingamajigger. And this is her. You know, she's a baddie. She don't need anybody. Jane could never. Yes, she's iconic. Doesn't need anybody else. Oh my god, she literally has a snake in her inventory. Oh, I'm gonna cry but yeah guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and end off this part of the sims 3 i almost sold the sims 4 the sims 3 generations lp here i hope you guys enjoyed it it was a pretty interesting if i do say so myself and in the next part we are going to kill 
the maid we are going to have some festival fun and it's just going to be a whole lot of reminiscing because the next part is the last and final part of this lp which is so sad like this lp has a special place in my heart and will forever have a special place in my heart but i will go more into that in the next part so yeah i want to thank you all so much for watching i love you all so very much thank you guys for watching bye